everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dreams channel. So this tutorial is about making a bracelet called chain bracelet combining half tila and tila together. You see that it's very easy and you surely will try to get one. Let's take a look at the materials we need. To make this bracelet we need half tila beads that are almost similar to the Miyuki tila but the only difference is that they are 2.5 millimeters large instead of 5 millimeters. The holes have the same distance and size. We will also need tila that as you can see are two times bigger than the half tila. Yuki 15-0 seed beads, then a clasp, Nemo thread or similar, two needles and scissors. Let's get started. I already needled 10 units of 15-0 seed beads, so I take the clasp and I position it right in the middle of the seeds. And then I scroll all the parts together to the center of the thread. Okay, so now we take a tila bead and we cross both tips inside the same hole. Next we step up passing both tips again inside the second hole of the tila bead. Insert a white half tila in one tip and shift it rightly beside the tila and then pass the next stage passing the thread inside the second hole of the half tila and insert a tila again passing the thread in it. In the other extremity we must repeat the same steps exactly as we just done for this side. Then get both tips going out from the white of Tila and here you can see how the creation is going to be. Now insert a grey half tila and go one level up passing the thread in the second hole of the same bead. Then fill the gap between the grey half tila and the tila with a white half tila. Repeat now the same stages as we just done in the other side as a mirror. As you can see, the tips go out from the white half tilas. I'm going now repeating all the whole process to follow our work. So go one step up on the white half tila, insert one tila in the middle and cross the threads. Insert another grey half tila, put it beside the other one and go up one level then fill up the space with a white half tila. and repass the thread inside the tila. As you probably understood, repeat the same steps in the other side. So with the other teeth pass inside the white half tila, then go up one level in the second hole and lead the thread to the other side passing it inside the tila and the white half tila. Ok, now insert a grey half tila, put it beside the white one and go up one level passing the thread in the second hole and insert a white half tila later on. And here you are my work. 
As you can see, I have to repeat the same process all the time to get my bristle length. Here I got my size, so I start preparing the closure. So I insert a tila bead between the two latest half tila and then I cross the tips inside it. Go one step up, passing the tips inside the second hole of the same tila bead and the work is almost done. Needle ten seed beads in one tip and position it the other extremity of the clasp right in the middle of them. And then cross the other thread tip, passing it inside all the seeds in the opposite way. And as always, we must enforce the structure repassing the tips inside the latest beads I used. And once I got it, cut off the tips and done. As you can see, the result is amazing and I encourage all of you on try making one and you'll discover that it's really beautiful to work with Miyuki beads. I hope you liked it, this tutorial and remember to subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.crystaldreams.s where you'll find all the materials I just used. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time, happy beading, bye bye.